And 200,000 consumers, energy customers across Michigan remain in the dark this morning. Crews have been working around the clock, but it could still be days before some people see their power restored. Joining us live to update us on those restoration efforts is Brian Wheeler with Consumers Energy. Brian, good morning. Good morning. All right, so let's get a quick update on the storms we saw yesterday and the day before and where you guys are in terms of those restoration efforts. Yeah, I, I think everyone knows what really is notable here is that we saw that first bad weather come through Tuesday night. But of course, the high winds, the thunder, the lightning that was continuing through the day yesterday and, and even overnight. So as of this morning, we have over 200,000 customers across the state without power, but we are going to be working around the clock. We do have over 500 crews from Consumers Energy from here in Michigan and from seven states who are going to be part of the effort to get the power, or get the lights back on as fast as we can. So, Brian, when it comes to dispatching these crews, how does consumers determine who to help first? Is it, hey, let's fix this major business? Is it, let's go over here and get, you know, these 20,000 people in the subdivision up? How do you guys determine who to help in which order? Yeah, that's a great question. Obviously, the first priority is always those critical customers. If you think about hospitals, nursing homes, police and fire stations, there are people who are more vulnerable who need power more than, than anybody else. But of course, beyond that, our work is to get the most people on the fastest. So there are occasions where you can do a single repair that can bring back hundreds or even thousands of people at a time. When that's possible, we do that. But of course, too, we're going to be working really around the clock and through all of our customer base. It will take into the weekend to get everybody back restored, but we don't stop the work until that happens. And Brian, how do you guys know where the problem is if the source of the outage is not visible? So it's not seen on a transformer or above ground. How do you guys yeah. work to find those kind of hidden outages? Yeah, I would say in this case, in many cases, it's not very difficult, of course, as we see the images here of those those trees, those limbs that have fallen, the damage really speaks for itself. And uh, Michigan is resilient, so it's, it's impressive that we're going to bounce back from this like we always do. But in other cases, sometimes we physically have to walk the length of a power line. We, we go to the area where we believe the outage to be, and you essentially hand inspect it until you make sure you see what's going on or do everything you can to get the power back on safely. And Brian, uh, we are showing this on our website right now or, or on our screen. It's consumersenergy.com slash outage center and 800-477-5050. People can call there if they have an outage or see down power lines, correct? We want people to be uh, informed and engaged with us. So please go to that website. You can see the status of individual outages or get those tips to prepare. If you do have power right now, this is a good time to really think about what you would do if you lost power. Uh, always make sure you charge your devices. Always make sure you have food and water on hand and a good plan for yourself. So uh, we're going to be working right now to get the power back on for everybody. All right, Brian, thanks so much for keeping us all informed.